Derbyshire traffic cops. Does it just have warning markers for potential firearms? Don't have it! You're under arrest. Attempt to supply class to be a drug. Police a thousand square miles. It's a crash, crash. You got any other injury other than your head? With some of the UK's most dangerous roads. I don't know what has been killed out of this. I don't know. Do you know how fast you're going? It's scary when stuff like this happens. In life and death situations. Get on the ground, you'll be chasing! We've got runners. Face down. Yes, yes, successful stink. Around every corner. Ah. Great acting, mate. There's a new challenge for the traffic cops. Step out of the vehicle now! Stay there! Stop grabbing me like that! Crash, crash, crash! Coming up. Wrong side of the keep west, Pollard. Wrong side of the roundabout. The traffic cops battling a surge in car crime. We've got runners. Go, Judy! Go, your Face down. Steady around, steady around. Keep your hands where I can see them. Hunting down dangerous wanted suspects. You're under arrest on suspicion of robbery. And teenage thieves on the run. We uh, sold over the fence and then towards that scaffolding. Well, pull out now. From an A to all units monitoring this channel, we've just had an AMPR hit for a vehicle. Stand by for details. Across the East Midlands and Yorkshire, a sharp rise in car crime is stretching police forces. 2-8, high performance marks, vehicle, advanced driver, T-Pack train. Vehicle thefts at the moment seem to be massively on the rise. In particular, we seem to be getting hit with a spate of two-in-one burglaries whereby a person or a group of people will burgle an address purely to get the keys for the vehicles on the driveway. Traffic cops, like Matt Cork, face criminal gangs using tech and fake registrations to steal high-powered cars. There's a vehicle that's hit up a few miles away from here and basically it's been identified today as a clone vehicle. From 7-1, this clone, it's been in around Notch yesterday, all time last night at similar time, and then went eastbound. I'm going to be jumping out and looking over at Silent Bridge. Thieves try to avoid getting caught by using cloned car registrations, copying the identity of a genuine vehicle. Just remind me of the reg, A15. 15. 15. Do we know what colour the clone is? It's silver. Thank you. They use four or five different sets of number plates, regularly stopping and changing them to try and prevent us from keeping tabs on where they've been. It's just gone underneath this. Yes, got you, thank you. So just trying to make some ground now. Yeah, 2-8, I've got them in sight, giving them about 300 yards. So at the minute, we're just waiting for some more units to get to us uh, with a view to putting a preemptive box on the vehicle. So we'll look at doing that as safely as we possibly can. As Matt tails the suspect, control directs other units to help stop the car. I am monitoring. Just keep the update. You've got one vehicle very close to you. Uh, just looking for other vehicles. We want to get things in place, tactics in place, to prevent a pursuit ever happening and get the occupants under control. But with that comes a risk both to myself, to my colleagues, to members of the public and to these people that are trying to get away. Hospital Mill 63 to Dark Small I've got three plane NOS cars behind it, all two back. Two A monitored. There are now ten units from three different forces in pursuit. Two fours, if you let the car come up and get sorted out some safety, you should be able to put a tactic on it. Yeah, they've uh, 
we look at putting a box on and we get the safety on. We've got a uh, quite a good steroid zone here. We've got some passive slip and we'll get on. We look on me. But as the units surround the suspect, yeah, coming off, off, off the, the driver pulls off the motorway. Be alive to the country flow, team. Be alive to the country flow. At that moment in time, they've got nothing to lose. They're not thinking about the risks they're taking. It's absolutely vital to remain calm. We've got to have some sort of tactical resolution in place to try and bring the pursuit to a stop safely. And the quicker we're able to do that, the better. Seven zero and a four zero, crossing the solid white line. Crossing solid white again. B six zero, going to the overtake of two vehicles. Wrong side of the two black collars. Not Sierra two two, but Derbyshire Crimson. Confirm you've authorised this pursuit. Yes, it was authorised. With the pursuit crossing borders, Nottinghamshire's control takes the lead. Wrong side of the sheet left, all right. Wrong side of the road, right, 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 right. Seven zero and four. Wrong side, light cross, it's stopped on the side of the road. We've got runners, generally two or down centre. Stop! Go, go, do it! Two men have run from the car. Thought you were. Oh, I don't know. Too late. Did you see them make it through this hedge line? Possibly not. No. From seven one, uh, two. I think two occupants, both wearing dark clothing. That's all I can give you. With no sign of the two runners. A drone operator arrives to assist. If you and you two have disappeared now. Yeah, just that heat source there, but. Hmm. Not to play, Bob. Member of public was saying there's one in the back yard. Dog searching now. This garden, please. In the next garden, there's a heat source hiding behind the shed. Yes, yes. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. There. On your left. There's heat source there. There's a big shed at the back. Show me your lens. Face down. Stay there. Get yeah, detained. Mate, you're under arrest and suspicion of dangerous driving. Careful that motor vehicle. You don't have to say anything, but it may have your fence if you don't mention my question. Something which lay around in court, and if you do say may be given in evidence, all right? Uh, sorry, I'm not too much to think. Anything dangerous in pocket? I think so, no. Just phone and cigarette. ID? No, I have no idea. Can we utilise you? Yeah, of course. Bless Thank you. With one arrest made, nearby the second runner is found. From 7 1, we've got one detained, the dog had got another one in the garden at the top of the road. Right, I'm going to go with these guys, okay? As I say, mate, I've arrested you on suspicion of theft and over Right, put your knees forward, lean forward a little bit. Put your hands behind your back now. Two other suspects have also been arrested by the Nottinghamshire officers. They've got the other two. So there's four. The four have been detained. While all four men are taken for questioning, officers search the suspect's car. This was shoved right under the driver's seat. Yeah. The police have found two bags containing electronic scanners and transmitters. Yeah. Where the potential is like a relay device to steal vehicles keylessly. They've got another one of them in it, but like a more powerful one. Yep. And then the actual scanning laptop, if you like. Probably quite an expensive bit of kit. I yeah, I would imagine so. So the kit that's been found in the car certainly appears to be the sort of equipment used uh, to gain entry to keyless entry vehicles. Um, and then some of the other equipment, including laptops uh, and OBD plugs, appear to be what they would then use to start the car, having opened it, um, and drive it away without a key. Matt continues searching the bag. 
stickers so that uh, double sided sticky tape so that plates can be swapped over almost instantaneously. And crafty balaclava. Uh, so everything in that bag suggests to me that these people are out, they're up to no good, which is obviously why they're in a clone vehicle. Uh, vehicles on false plates. And uh, if we'd not got on top of them tonight, I dare say there'd be a few people waking up to find their cars with an off the drive in the way in the morning. With keyless entry, keyless start, you've got an app and there is no key. But with the removal of a physical key for a car, come the signals which can be intercepted. And there are people getting their hands on technology that is intercepting these signals who almost trick the car into thinking that that is the owner with the genuine key. Coming up. Traffic cops track down a dangerous suspected car thief. Keep your hands where I can see them. Have you got anything on you that you shouldn't have? What you need to understand is you're coming with us. And car criminals putting lives at risk. All I'll say is, how do you think you'd have felt if I'd have come knocked on a door and said that you've been dragged down road? Oh my god. They don't care. On the M1 in Derbyshire, traffic cop Sergeant Scott Riley is responding to an urgent call for backup. Not behind a stolen car, um, just going past services. Officers from Nottinghamshire are ahead tailing a suspect car. It's a black Audi S7 been stolen from North Ants. At the minute, we're just racing to catch up. Across the UK, a car is stolen every eight minutes. Car crime, burglaries have all gone through the roof. This vehicle yesterday involved in an incident where a knife was used. Did you have a description of the weapon? Control search for more information about the suspect vehicle. Uh, from any small units that are following after this vehicle, please be advised it does have warning markers for potential firearms. These criminals are some of the most dangerous criminals we've come across. We've seen them offer weapons towards homeowners. We've seen them offer weapons towards police. We've seen them drive at police, do anything to stop us stopping them. From one floor from down, we're suggestion of a firearm. With Nottinghamshire's firearms units en route. So we're, we're just treading a bit carefully. An unmarked car ahead tails the suspect. They're covertly following it at the minute, so we're not getting too close to it. They will do absolutely anything in their power to get away. They don't care about hurting us. They don't care about hurting the members of the public because they know that if we catch them, they will go to prison for a long time. Not so I've been following in. That picture authorised. I would like the marked vehicles to move through and overtake me. Got you now. Derbyshire Oscar Sango Sierra 4 is also with the stick. Multiple police units from two forces close in on the suspects. Off our services into the lorry park. May come to a natural unit and drop on me, please. Show your hands, show your hands. Keep your hands where I can see them. Anybody else in the car? Whoa, me and Come over here. Just stay nice and chilled, yeah? If somebody mentions to you firearms, it really focuses your mind that actually the only right thing to do is get that person handcuffed and take any ability away from them to cause you any harm. Any weapons, anything that would hurt me, hurt my colleagues? What's happening? 
Have you got anything on you that you shouldn't have? I should have. Okay. What what language do you speak? Romanian. Romanian? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, right. You've been stopped. Yeah. That vehicle you're driving yeah. is reported as stolen. What? Yeah. That is a stolen car. Stolen. Not yours. Yeah, Not your car, is no, it? my car. It's my friend's car. Okay. Well, whose ever car it is has told the police yeah. stolen. Stolen? Yes. While Scott detains the suspect, officers check the man's ID. Have you been arrested before? No. No? First time in cuffs? Yes. In the UK? Yeah? How long have you been in the UK? We have one year. One year? Yes. Yeah. The more and more I'm hearing on the radio and the more and more we look into his past, you then get a sense of who you're dealing with and what you're dealing with. Are you giving the correct details? No. you giving the police correct details? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scott suspects the man's provided a false name. A search of the car uncovers some alarming items. That's a knife. Good job, ain't it? Another knife. There's only one reason for carrying these it's for protection and to use them. Intimidation, aren't they? Massive intimidation. I mean, look. False name that he uh, then, tried to give us. Despite being given a false name. Yeah, that's him, isn't it? 100%. Scott believes they've identified the suspect. So, what's he wanted for? This individual's wanted for a very serious crime where he's used a knife to obtain that car, is driven halfway up the country with that stolen property. So what lengths is he going to go to to get away from us? I'll lock this chap up. Yeah. Uh, what's the details of the robbery? Between the hours of 20 past 7, 20 past 8, uh, robbery, GBH. OK, mate. At this moment of time, you're under arrest on suspicion of robbery. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm you to say anything. Make sure when questions, some people are later aligned in court. Anything you do say, you may be given in evidence. Do you understand? I know, I, know, I know English is not your first language, but what you need to understand is you're coming with us. You understand that, yeah? It's got to go to the back, force policy, mate. I know it's uncomfortable. That's how they've got to go. That, that's how they've got to go. No. no especially, of course, for what you've been arrested for. You've been arrested for a violence offence. So I'm not putting my colleagues, yeah. A robbery is violent. All right, a robbery is violent, trust me. So now what we've got to do is go and do the fun bit and write all the paperwork up. Looking at the weapons that have been found in that vehicle presents a real danger to officers when we're stopping that vehicle and then that's a little bit of a wake-up call for you that you need every now and again to, to remind you that it, it is a dangerous place out there. I've turned on it, I've done by the down, it's just we answered and shot our high What colour is it, mate? Grey or silver, I think, it was dark. Very high speed, it's an excess of 8-0. On the northern edge of the county, Derbyshire traffic cop Chris Wells Jackson is playing catch up to another suspected car theft. South Yorkshire have got a fail to start with a possible clone vehicle. So we're going to make his way up to the border just to give him some assistance in case they come on to us. The scale of car crime, burglaries, theft of motor vehicle, vehicle cloning at the moment is absolutely ridiculous. We'll get criminals that come from Sheffield, from Nottingham, Manchester, Leicester that come into our county with the sole purpose of finding a high-powered, high-valued vehicle and taking it. Yes, yes, the head, lights out. It's going to be a decamp shortly, I think. 
South Yorkshire and the Derbyshire officers have gone into the, the woods after him, so hopefully they'll uh, pick him up shortly. The helicopter's above him, we're not going to lose him. The boss 3-1, uh, yes, we're still watching this male running away. He has a very small dog with him uh, that's running alongside him. He's making good ground, he's almost in the railway station. Quite a few cops stood down there on a, a containment, so it can't be far away. After a 30-minute search, the runaway suspect disappears. I can't believe we've not found him, though. I know, obviously, tree line's quite thick, but helicopter being above him. Yeah. But moments later, control updates. It's a Range Rover evoked in black. It's been stolen in Chesterfield. Yeah, we see. It's another call about another stolen car. Driveway, um, and they smashed the window to get into it and managed to get it started somehow. Land Rover, Range Rover thefts, so common at the moment. They seem to have a, a way of getting into them without the keys, and they're away in a few, few seconds most of the time. With a number of units still searching the South Yorkshire border for the missing suspect, police resources are stretched. Comes up to us, we're definitely not going to have any deep capability. And if it's a team that's stealing them, I mean, if it's a second one into it, they start tonight. Yeah, it's a third, just turn the night car out position. You get seriously organised criminals that will actively go out, target particular vehicles at particular properties, they'll do the research, they'll go out in the daytime and look at the properties they want to break into, look for the cars that they want to steal, or go out later that night and steal the vehicle. And it's not just one or two vehicles they'll go on to steal four or five. Sometimes you're looking at 250, 300,000 pounds worth of vehicles going in the space of four or five hours. Say again, so you want me to go and look at CCTV for it? Chris is asked to check the victim's house for any footage of the suspects. Yeah, we see. The IP is going to be at home, see if there's any other CCTV on the street. She says that the vehicle was on the side of the road. As Chris makes his way, control updates on the victim's son. He's got into his friend's car and driven down the road. He's pulled his front just a bit, gone to sit back with him and then spun in. He's putting himself at a massive risk. Obviously, the stolen cars hit him in a bid to get away. He's then spun 180 and he's collided with a parked vehicle. Luckily for him, the occupant of the stolen car has not got out with any sort of weapon and tried to uh, tried to injure him. He flipped us completely around in the car, like completely around. But obviously, because it was like being in a bumper car, yeah, as he yeah, hit yeah. it, he's, he's turned me this way. Yeah. So I'm facing that way. And then the last time I seen it, I just seen that I'm... That'll have just been the weight. The That'll have been the weight yeah, of his vehicle. Yeah. It's one of those things because this car was stolen. I didn't think that he would damage the car in the process. If you know what I mean. It seems but he just wants to get away. That's yeah, the thing. Yeah, yeah, all, yeah. all I'll say is, in my experience, they're willing to have a go with us and hurt us. Yeah. So if they're willing to do that to us, what they're going to do to you? Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So it, it's just it's one of those things. And all I'll say is, don't put yourself in danger because it's a car. I know it's your car and it's precious to you. But at the it's end of the day, not. it's a car and you can replace it. But if you, yeah, for whatever reason, it you went... more the way that it made my bum feel. I could see Of course, it yeah, of course. But all I'll say is, how do you think she'd have felt if I'd have come and knocked on her door and said that you'd been dragged down the road and oh killed? They don't care. It's gone badly wrong a few times in the past where people have chased after stolen cars in their own vehicles and the criminals have turned on them, beat them up to an extent where they could have quite easily died and they've come away with serious injuries, sometimes life-changing. I looked him straight in the face twice, once when he was ramming at us and then once when he was outside here. Like, I recognised the guy. The victim's CCTV might provide clues to the suspect's ID. So this is when it happened at 20.42. So this is my car outside. Mm. And then yeah, I rang the police at 20.44. Yeah, that'd be about right, yeah. Yeah, and then this is obviously... Oh, what's that doing? Oh my god. It's not letting me play back. A lot of the time we find that criminals actually tamper with people's cameras. 
they're actually starting to jam people's Wi-Fi signals to those devices at the time that they're committing the offence. So you sort of have that blank spot of a few minutes when the offence takes place and then everything seems normal again with the cameras. Has anyone else got CCTV? I've just put an email thing onto our oh, Facebook group for you. So this is what, this is it. Mm -hmm. So she heard that and took a photo and then this is me coming out to switch my goal alarm off, obviously then realising. You can't, you can't see anything. Oh, it's a bit like, I obviously, like, if what's going on with my car? Yeah, and then yeah. I come closer, and then obviously I realise that he's in the car, and then literally it just went. It's, I've never seen a car go that fast in this. Yeah. Yeah. It just went. Land Rovers, so, Range Rovers are so, um, so common at the moment. Them. They've just got a, a device that reads it. the code of the key. A lot of modern cars with modern technology have also got the cons that it makes it easier to steal because the criminals also have technology that appears to be better than the ones that immobilise the vehicle. It was literally, but my son, he went out to the shop, it must have been really short because he's left here. It was five minutes, so they must have been watching. They must have been watching. I think they have must have been watching it because they've had nothing on car. I've had nothing with that car at all. Yeah. Potentially seen him walk out. I think no one's in the house now, I'll try me look and yeah. it's not just somebody that's taking an opportunity as they walk past the vehicle in the street and sticking a screwdriver in the lock and popping it open and hot wiring it. It's people that are actively going out to steal cars that are worth 50, 60,000 pounds, sometimes more, because they know that they're going to get a lot of cash for it. And a good night's work for them is 250, 300 grand's worth of vehicles. That's something that would take me 10, 15 years to earn, working honestly. It's just the reality of it, unfortunately. I'd love to be able to sit there and tell a victim that we're going to be able to lock the offenders up and that they're going to get put in prison, but I just have to be, be brutally honest with them and tell them that the chances are very slim of them seeing the, the car again and chances are it's, it's going to be used in more crime or it's going to get found dumped somewhere and they're probably never going to want to drive it again because the criminals had a hold of it. It's, it's just a complete invasion of privacy. Coming up. Just to quiet it on camera. Got to decamp, decamp, four out and running. Teenage car thieves on the run. Yeah, it's committed under the bridge. And a race to stop another stolen car. Right, move up, move up, move up. On the Derbyshire border with South Yorkshire. Yes, we just cried it on camera. Traffic cop Chris Wells Jackson and officers from the two forces are part of an air to ground search for a stolen Audi. MS31, uh, it's double back on you. We've got uh, D camp, D camp, four out and running. An A for 490, it has D camps. I'm literally about a mile away from where it is. With two men on the run in a nearby housing estate, Chris races to the scene. Yeah, bus three one there. We saw him going through that uh, extension. The police helicopter directs unit towards the missing suspects. Just outside the house. MS31, uh, I've got the format units put together. Uh, keep going forward, please. Stolen vehicle is uh, to the right. Unit, turn left there, please. Turn left. Yeah, lead units up there. Stop there. On your left. On your left. So there's outbuildings on the second vehicle. You're right outside. Uh, outbuildings uh, to your left there. They came over the, uh, the fence at the rear and then it went into that extension area. It's on the left of the property, as so you're looking at it. I don't want to send dogging, so come out now. Can't see, I'm not quite tall enough. But first time ever. 
I can see it back, so I know if anyone goes out, I can see him. But go on. You get round the side here, up at the back. Yeah. Ash is better off going round the back. I'll go next door. There's always something in the back of your mind when you're in that scenario, thinking, if I climb into this building, what am I going to be faced with? Is there anybody in there that's willing to harm me? And your experience tells you that you need to be on edge constantly because you never know who you're dealing with. Recently, I've dealt with jobs where these lads have got knives on them. That gate's locked, so I can't get over. Is it literally the other side of this wall? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they wouldn't so have run out at back there on the rear. You could get out the back, but M plus is saying they've not. If you're right above it, didn't they've not come out the other side. The only other way they could have gone is in there, innit? There is scaffolding on the back of that uh, extension that's been built. Uh, it's possible there's a uh, hiding place under there. Uh, up in the corner there, the back of that extension, we uh, sung over the fence and then towards that scaffolding. Sorry, go on, I've got Ben. Go on. I'll get Ben. You're not going in that, you can't get in that door there, can you? Tom, check door. Check door. Ash, I've got a foot there. Is there on the, on the floor boards. Move on here, mate. It's coming out now. <laughs> uh, stick your feet on here, mate. Lift your feet up. Quite sneaky, really. Just when you're actually climbing there on face value, there's nobody in it, but when you're lifting the floorboards up, they were playing quite tightly underneath it, so... Bring your feet down onto this bin here. Drop yourself down. Put your head on that bolt. Okay. Sit your send down, otherwise you're going to... Sit your down. Great failure under arrest. Fisher theft of motor vehicle failed to stop in this driver. A lot of the burglaries and thefts that I've dealt with and the pursuits that follow as a result of those vehicles being stolen are a mixture of different people. But to discover that it's a couple of teenagers that are in that vehicle that have been out stealing other cars and you look at their previous criminal history and you see that they've got a list as long as your arm of thefts and burglaries, it's just unbelievable to think that they're not even 20 years old. Ambassador Wood, uh, apologies, we are going to have to leave now. Uh, but uh, thanks for your help. Yes, thank you very much for your assistance, it's appreciated. See you at the next one. See you later. See you later, cheers mate. See you later mate. The two that have been detained, one of them, I've heard his name a few times, banded around, and uh, he's very well known for being involved in burglaries and theft of motor vehicles. I think he's only a teenager, so it looks like his career as a, a criminal started very early and is continuing. Fingers crossed he'll get a, a decent sentence. That number plate doesn't, doesn't match that VIN plate. Coming up... There's two Land Rovers with the yeah, same number plate. The traffic cops uncover another stolen vehicle on the move. The chassis number that you've uh, passed us, uh, we've done a check on it, stolen uh, from the London area. Catching criminal gangs in stolen or cloned cars is a nightly operation for the traffic cops. Eleven miles east of Derby, near the M1. Any off second four seven. I'm out my vehicle, um, looking over the overbridge. Traffic cop Andy Swift is trying to spot a cloned car linked to a spate of thefts from heavy goods vehicles. Yeah, it's committed under the bridge. Thank you for that. Yes, it's just gone under the under bridge. I think that's going to be it. 
Tango 47, it's contact, contact. Lane 2, speed 70. Yes, thank you for that. Should this go into a pursuit, uh, it will be authorised and if you take course on pursuit. Vehicle still lane 2. And anyway, from Tango 47, the plan will be if it keeps maintaining lanes like this, then it'll be a case of a, uh, a multi lane box. A multi lane box requires four units one to hold traffic back and three others to surround the vehicle and bring it to a stop. As Andy keeps his distance, backup is on its way. Traffic cop Sergeant Scott Riley is nearby. Stand by there, you'll see me. Yes, yes, commit south, Scott. We're a third of a mile now to the next junction, so yeah, move out. Where's the Oscar Juliet mobile? Have you caught up yet? Go on, get with us. With enough units in place, the officers move in to surround the car. Right, are we all together? Yes. We'll do a three vehicle box. I'll go front, whoever's second, if you go near side, and then third vehicle, if you go off side. Yes, yes. Right, move up, move up, move up. Hey, David. Could you follow this officer, please? Yeah. So we can have a chat with you. Swifty, they'll follow you. The suspect car contains a family, not who the officers were expecting. Hey, pick them somewhere safe and uh, get all the details in. So we shall take them to the exit and we'll sort out what we can. So obviously, someone's driving around in the wrong vehicle. Good evening, sir. I don't know what my sergeant's explained or, or not so far. So, there's two Land Rovers, two Land Rovers. with the yeah, same number seven. plates. One's registered to yourself, yeah. and one's registered okay, somewhere seven. else in the country. That number plate doesn't, doesn't match that VIN, the, the VIN plate. While the car's identity is checked, Scott talks to the driver. Did you buy it from a garage or a private sale? Private sale. I checked the S34 car. Yeah. I paid ten pound online. The HPI. Yeah, HPI. HPI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Check clear. If it's yep. not clear, I know why. The chassis number that you've uh, passed us. Uh, we've done a check on it. It's got a report on it. It's stolen. Yeah, it's from the London area. Received. Right. Bad news is. This is a stolen car. Yeah, I, pre I appreciate you bought it legitimately, but this is currently a stolen car from the London area. You've done your HPI check on that, yeah. but that isn't this car. So your HPI would have come back clear because that is a car that looks exactly the same as this one. But the problem is the VIN plate. This little one here, this. Which is a vehicle there. identification number that comes back to a a different year and a different vehicle so looks like you've been defrauded unfortunately so what what we're gonna have to do and I'm not gonna give you no, good news I'm not gonna lie yeah. the police are gonna have to take this vehicle from you now because we're lawfully bound to do so because somebody somewhere has lost a very nice car I get that you haven't stolen that yeah, I absolutely get bother. that but that is somebody else's car you feel safe I take it to the police station, I give you my car, and I, yeah. I, I sort out that about my well, money. To... I, I, really, I really understand what you're saying, but it's not something I can do because it is a high-value stolen car, so it's not something I can just let go. It's really sad because we've actually almost transferred the victim because we've just now uncovered another victim who's lost just as much money as the person who lost the initial car. 
we've absolutely got to get the car back to the right owner or to the insurance company that paid out for it. We don't want to leave you stranded. If you're happy that you and your family can stay here until somebody picks you up from Leeds, that helps us, I'll be honest. But the offer is there to take you back, back up a bit further north if you need it. But if you're happy stopping here and getting family to pick you up from here, that's great. So I'll let you make that decision. Can we get your family out of the car so this man can get the vehicle? Yeah, yeah. That's all right, OK. Yeah. Do, you want to, do, you want to get, do you want to ask him to get out? With the recovery underway, Scott and Andy check the car's history. So he's insured, he's managed to insure it and everything. So basically, the owner that's got the genuine one, his V5 has been superseded. The DVLA basically think that the one that's still running around London, they think that's been moved on. So the DVLA would never know? No. So there's only one vehicle on PNC, but two insured, yeah. Unfortunately, you've got to check your VIN number, haven't you? That's the only way you can do it. Yeah. Of course, he's got keys, haven't he? In the last six months, across the East Midlands and South Yorkshire, the police received nearly 7,000 reports of burglary and car theft. It's frustrating because every incident you respond to, you know that there is a victim a victim that's going to be seriously affected, not just for tonight, not just for the night after, but for a long time to come. The prisons are so full, the system's so stretched, that, that people aren't getting the sentences now that they used to. And we're dealing with the same people on a daily basis, a weekly basis, a monthly basis. And if those people were in prison, where they should be, then this level of offending would come down. In this episode... Wrong side of the Keep West, Wrong side of the roundabout. We've got runners, generally two or down centre. The man the police believe failed to stop in a cloned car linked to burglary offences... Stop your runs! has been charged with dangerous driving and no insurance. One detained, the dog had got another one in the garden. Another runaway suspect was charged with handling stolen goods. Put your hands behind your back, now. The two men caught with laptops and transmitters were charged with going equipped to steal. All four men are currently released on court bail. Turn your hands, turn your hands. Keep your hands where I can see them been arrested for a violence offence, so I'm not putting my colleagues. Yeah. The two men arrested at a motorway service station in a stolen car with knives inside have been released under investigation, under suspicion of robbery and burglary, while the police further their inquiries. Realised that he's in the car and then it just went. No suspects have been identified in connection with the theft of the Range Rover Evoque near Chesterfield but the car was found the following day by the victim's son. We uh, sold over the fence and then towards that scaffolding. Then down. Two teenagers arrested near Sheffield after running from a stolen car have been released on bail under suspicion of burglary, dangerous driving, no insurance and possession of drugs. Commission under the bridge. Right, move up, move up, move up. And the cloned Range Rover Evoke, stopped by Scott and Andy on the M1, was linked to a spate of thefts from lorries and confirmed as stolen. It has been returned to its insurers. Next Monday at 8, we join Helen Skelton and the gang for brand new Winter on the Farm. Taking you inside the incident room as detectives try to crack the murder case of Yorkshire mum, Wendy Speaks, brand new Wednesday at 8. Back to tonight, an ex-miner shows his grit as the team battle to save his arm in Casualty 24-7, every second counts, new next.